Hey everyone, Aisley here. Today we're gonna to talk about all the weird things that I learned and did not from Misty ID. So I gotta start off with a warning. I do tend to be quite a pessimist, so this might be a little bit of a biased review, but here we go. There are so, I mean, so many positive reviews out there that really romanticize the whole idea of going to design school. Honestly, I think it's time for a negative one. The five reasons not to go to RISD for ID. So I gotta give a disclaimer, this is specifically for industrial design. I would say RISD is a great school for fine art. So a little bit of background. So for those of you who don't know, according to Wikipedia, the Rhode Island School of Design was founded in 1877 and has been ranked the world's number one design school by Business Insider in 2012, which was the year before that I attended. And I saw this article and thought, gotta go to the number one school. So nice. I applied in 2013 to Brizzy ID, and at the same time, I got into these other schools for industrial design and these for architecture. And why did I not end up going to architecture? Well, that's a story for another time. First year's foundations, aka artsy fartsy time. So first year RISD is called foundations where we split into small groups of 10 to 15 students and take a bunch of classes together. For a drawing class, I did this and this. And for 2D class, I did some of this and this and this. For 3D class, there's this hat thingy and a bee in some weird blow up plastic that I had some very deep conceptual meaning behind it, something with growth and then I went down some dark, dark hole and did this pimply <laughs> some hair and honestly that's kind of a thing in the time school day. Fun fact, this is our unofficial mascot for the school so you can see kind of a little bit where I got my inspiration from. And just to move faster, second semester came around and I did some more drawings, did 50 more drawings, I did more 2D, more 2D and made a chair that worked into three different shapes, because the way, blah blah blah, through the glass. And by this time, honestly, I was a little confused. Like, when am I gonna learn design? Like, when am I gonna learn design? That leads us to second year, ID Foundations, aka Let's make everything by hand. So this year is building up basic knowledge of industrial design and for those of you who don't know what it is, our friend Wikipedia defines it as industrial design is a process of design applied to physical products that are to be manufactured by mass production. So in the first time, I did some hand marker rendering. Which nobody does this by hand anymore. We use iPads in the professional field. And then I also literally spent 30 plus hours handcrafting this wooden disc so that it's symmetrical by hand. Like, carved it and then shaped it and sanded it for like 30 hours by hand. And by hand, I made this weird little puzzle thing on a sheet metal that like folded and like it, I don't know, like it did something. For a second term, I did these things. I'm just gonna throw, I did these things, these things. I don't wanna talk about it. And here's a picture of me in the shop not wanting to talk about it. And then comes third year, aka not enough teachers who work in the field that knows how to use software, so your TA tries to teach you SOLIDWORKS. So this year I took a very interesting class in collaboration with NASA and so I made like a coffee machine that's supposed to use centripetal force to give you coffee and then I made another cardboard chair and then a giant plywood spaceship and I also made some rulers and some lights and some more wood things that are puzzles and yeah that's that's all I did for a year another thing that I came fourth year final year Okay, I finally learned how to use Rhino and help. I'm not ready to get a job. I'm about to graduate. Realized I did not know shit and did not learn shit from school, and I could not work. This year, I made a video, a sofa, some mirrors, and some conceptual futuristic lunch boxes and some other stuff. So by this point, it starts a job application, and I applied to no joke, a hundred jobs. I got my Excel sheet here, and I heard back from two internships and one job interview. In summary, this is the expectation of a working designer coming out of school versus the stuff that I did. So I gotta say, I was lucky that my internship from my junior year loved me and offered me the job before I graduated. So shout out to my mentor, Dong Han, who helped me. So thus I start my whole other journey to learn on my own how to become an actual industrial designer for the next five years of my life which is another journey of blood sweat and tears maybe i'll make another video about it 
Let me know if you're interested. Conclusion. I would say unless you're very rich and just want to go to a very exclusive school for that like cool four years of design school experience, if you're a poor student like me who actually needs to go to school to learn hard skills and to get a job from it, don't go to RISD. I paid around 75k a year times four for my education and I left literally as someone who could not design. Just to be realistic here, it took me two full years to pay back. I think there are great schools um, out there that help you find a job, but this is not it. I mean, I can share with you all the fun, weird things that I made, but honestly, at the end of the day, you know, how much was that was useful? And the class of 2017.